Hi, yeah, uh, this is Tony from AR Boilers, and we're looking at a boiler called a Worcester. But this particular Worcester is a special one, and it's been heated by a communal heating boiler elsewhere. We're in an apartment, and this particular boiler is quite unique. I've not seen one myself made by the brand of Worcester. This particular boiler is leaking, you can see it leaking on the floor there. We can look inside and see what the problem is. That's the isolation switch, which we're going to switch off now. So that control panel's gone off. As I said, we're going to remove the cover. So the cover's now been removed. Basically, it just lifts off, and you obviously can see inside. Now, if we look close, this is leak. You can see it leaking out of this like diverter valve type operation or part. I can't give it a specific name of it. Well that's why it's leaking like a thermostatic control. I can see this thermostatic control on the top. And it's got a set of these isolation valves, which I'm gonna isolate them to contain the leak. So this is the um, model of the unit, you can see it there, it's a Worcester W-R49SW. Now how this works, is it's, it's a, like on a communal heating system. So this is the main flow return coming in. And this is the flow pipe. It goes to this plate heat exchanger. And what you've got is the return pipe, which comes down here through this part. This is the part which is actually leaking. Round the back, so it goes up again and then down and that's a return circuit so that's the main flow return into this unit then you've got these other pipes this is the cold water inlet and this is the hot to the taps these two are the flow return to the radiators so we're just like a combi system it's a seal system you can see a filling loop there. This is for the pressure leaf valve. I've isolated these two here on the main flow return to stop the leak. <coughs> Open a PRV, take the pressure off so the leak has now stopped. This is the pump for the heating circuit. And that's the auto air vent. So it's got these other additional controls, which are like thermostatic controls to keep the heating at the correct temperature. So on this particular unit, you do have to get technical advice for the settings and how to work on this particular appliance. So it's a quite specialized unit, only for apartments which have got communal heating systems like this. So as I said, it's a quite unusual boiler. You don't see it much, only in a specific application. So that's the end of this little video and the tour of this appliance. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you on the next one.